most people don't really pay too much attention. You move into a community and this is the place you live, this is the place you raise your kids, and you hopefully stay for a number of years. What the historical society does is, is help both the com commissions, in this case, <clears throat> to preserve that history. We have all sorts of files of stuff that we've collected. We do a lot of collecting. We collect pictures, we collect information. Um, we're in the process of writing a history book. But I think the function of a historical society is always to try and preserve history. But that's a function of a historical society is to gather and keep and preserve information and artifacts. And this generation needs to learn a lot about history. And that history is important because people need to learn from it. They, lead, they need to learn about the mistakes that were done in the past so that, that we don't repeat them in the future. Many people that have thought about this have stated that we need to learn from history, that there is a lot to learn from history. Welcome to this presentation of our local historical period that we call the Impassable Swamp. This area of Michigan, the southeastern corner of Macomb County, was a soft, muddy swampland occupied by American Indians and French trappers. Covered by a wide variety of trees and many wild plants, the land supported many different animals, such as lynx, bear, wolf, raccoon, badger, and the very rare white ermine. These animals were used for food, garments, and trade by the Indians and trappers. By some accounts, the trappers cleverly used the term impassable swamp when describing this area in hopes that others would be discouraged from settling here, thus limiting the land to their own fur trade. Eventually, however, settlers recognized the rich soil and plentiful water supply and decided that they would like to build their homes and raise their families here.